is the prerequisite. That is the foundation. That is the true measurement of you realizing that demonstration. Now, as we know, belief has to do with faith. To believe is to have faith, and faith is sustained confidence. Sustained confidence and that you will have a favorable outcome. Like I said before, let it be for good, not evil intentions. But let it be for righteous, good, uplifting, positive, constructive objectives. Because believing to believe is a power, a mighty force, a great invisible essence. And it is impartial. It doesn't care about whether you are a sinner or a saint, whether you are an evildoer or a do-gooder, whether you are a Christian or a Muslim. It has nothing to do with it. it. has only to do, or a Buddhist, or whatever your religion may be. It has to do with faith, believing, using the power that is the way to bring forth the demonstration, the realization, the good that you seek. Now, friends, let's have some more readings on this matter. Luke. But when Jesus heard it, he answered and said, Fear not, only believe, and she shall be made whole. So you see here that Jesus said as a prerequisite to the demonstration, to the healing, to fear not. So we should not have any fears of any kind, uh, worries, anxieties, stressfulness. Actually, the best way is to be detached from the outcome, to have a true knowingness that in your consciousness you already see you already realize, you already know beyond the shadow of a doubt that the good shall surely materialize or come to pass. And in that expectation, you must, that expectation, then the realization and the demonstration occurs. St. John While ye have light, believe in the light that you may be children of light. So you see, uh, the most important we can do with our belief is to believe in the light. Believe in truth. Believe in holiness. Believe in righteousness. Believe in the great I am, the infinite. Believe in the fact that you can overcome the evil forces if within and without yourself, outside of yourself. Because why? Because from the very beginning of the word we are told that we are given dominion. You are given dominion that is supremacy, authority over your own mind over your own spirit. And that to believe that you are capable and that you're able, why? Because with God, all things are possible. With man, some things, many things are impossible. Man includes womankind. To them, to us, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. But believe that all things possible. Do not doubt for a second. Now we have here from St. John, Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. You know, Thomas was one of those disciples that when he saw Jesus, when Jesus had the resurrection and he appeared before the disciples, he was doubtful. That's where the term doubting Thomas comes from. He was doubtful. A lot of people like that. They only believe what they can see. 
if it has to be there right before they rise for them to believe. And that's the way Thomas was. He, he had, that's why Jesus said, take your hand and thrust it into my side. Touch my hand. Be not faithless. And then when Thomas did this and he saw that Jesus made, was indeed resurrected and he saw the, the wounds in his side from when he was on the cross and he saw that, that they were there still, then he believed. You believers, you don't want to be a doubting Thomas. Be not faithless, but believe in the good. Now we have from Romans, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to his purpose. Good. Believe in that good. Believe that no matter how the situation at present, and I've seen myself many times, at first the situation seemed quite dire. And, uh, but, in believing, having faith to believe that behind that appearance is good. That all things work together for good. And that good will come about and good will be the end result. Then, lo and behold, good did manifest. Now we have here from Mark. Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straight away the father of the child said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. So if you have trouble believing, pray unto the Lord to make you strong, help you to be strong. In belief, help you to be strong, to strengthen your belief, strengthen your faith. So that you may be able to realize the demonstration. Mark again. He that believeth is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. So you see if you believe in the good. Believe in the realization. Then the good shall surely occur. Mark again. And when even was come he went out of the city. And in the morning as he passed by. They saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, calling to remember, said unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursest is withered away. And Jesus answering said unto him, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you that whatsoever, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and cast into the midst of the sea. And shall not doubt in his heart that which he saith shall come to pass, and he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you shall receive them, and you shall have them. So you see, that sums up the whole idea of what I'm speaking of, that Believing that whatsoever that you desire, like I said, make sure that it's of good and not evil intent. Then you shall surely receive that demonstration. Again, we have from St. John, Believe thou not that I am in the Father, and that the Father in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and that the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than I, these things shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified. So you see, then, believing that 
you being a son or daughter of God, 